All right, hello everybody and welcome back. I am Cassis Plays and today we are continuing the playthrough of Best Month Ever. Uh, sorry it took me so long to get part two out for this. Uh, I actually had a few issues with the game. Uh, my game save got erased apparently, so I had to go through all of the uh, original choices that I made again. Luckily, we didn't get too far into the game. Uh, it did take me like a, about an hour to get back to where I'm at. Uh, so that's pretty much what happened. Um, and this is right where I, I paused. I am, I believe I made the same choices as the first time. So there shouldn't be much of a difference anyways. Uh, but yeah, we're going to see how far we can get today with this. Um, and if you, you know, want some more, definitely let me know, leave the likes, uh, comments, let me know if you want part three, uh, after this one's over and I will continue to continue this playthrough I'm uh but sorry, yeah kid. let's go ahead and see what we got all this to you all i wanted for you was to get to know your family and that was the stupidest thing i could have done it wasn't supposed to end like this did that priest ever hurt you yes he did mom stopped talking and i was afraid to ask it's good we didn't stay there we'll manage you and me. What kind of place is this? You like it here? I guess so. I used to come here when I couldn't stand home anymore. It was my asylum. What's asylum? A place where you can hide from the whole world. Are fish here? Used to be. Go, find out for yourself. Okay, I'll look for bait worms. There's a shovel in the car. I'll find some firewood. Okay, so we're going to grab the uh, shovel from the car then. If you don't remember then last time, uh, basically what happened is uh, there was a traumatic experience for uh, Luis when she was younger with the priest. And essentially, uh, we confronted him in the house about it. And she ended up grabbing the gun from the wall and uh, not shooting at him, but shooting at the family portrait, which then... Uh, her sister picked up the gun and shot the priest. So now we're on the run uh, because I think they believe that or they they're trying to say that we're the ones that shot him technically, um, even though we just grabbed the gun. But anyways, we need to get out of there uh, to begin with. So. All right. So we got two worms or yeah, two so far. You want more? That's a fat one. If there are fish here, they'll go for this one. I'm going fishing, Mom. Fine, I'll be right there. Let's see if there's any fish in here. I was like, wait, what are we looking at? But now I see they're up here in the top right. Who taught you how to fish? Alvin. Alvin? The old man from my diner? Yeah, sometimes we'd go fishing when you were working. I wonder what else you learned when I was working. Many things. The smart kid. When I was your age, my dad, your grandfather, would take me here. He promised to teach me how to fish, but one day he just didn't come home from work. Just didn't come home? Just like that. He was gone and I never saw him again. That wasn't exactly true. Mom saw my grandfather once more, but at a time she really didn't want to see him. Guide fish to the bait. Look, the oh. fish is Wait, am I controlling the fish? Got it. Oh, she's feisty. I'll manage. Just need to pull her closer to us. I didn't even see that. Daughter. Let's catch another. I can teach you. You want me to? Let's try. 
got to wait patiently until the fish is interested in the bait. When you feel the bite, you got to strike. Then you start reeling her in. Try it. I wasn't thinking about it then, but this was the first time we did something together and had great fun. I didn't know that it was going to be our last time. I was happy, and I thought that this was truly the best month of our lives. I had no clue that Mom was just warming up. Look, something's moving. She's huge. Whoa. Wait until she takes the bait. Strike. I got it. I got it. Easy now. Just reel her in. She's so huge. Dinner time. Can we roast them over the fire? Sure, kid, but we need to gut them first. Did you do that with Alvin? We always let them go alive. Mitch should kill the fish. Allow Mitch not to kill the fish. Um. Wait, what's this one? Confidence. Nah, I can. I. I won't have him okay, do it. Okay, I'll do it. You start the fire. Yeah, he already has a lot of confidence, honestly. I will say playing this type of game kind of makes me want to play um, Life is Strange. It's been a very long time since I played any Life is Strange games. We make a good team. And they are right up we my alley, too. Fish joint. You would fish, and I would fry them and serve the customers. What would we call this place? Uh, Campfire Fish. Oh, Mom. Why not? Simple and clear. Got a better one, champ? I do. Mitch and Louise's. Damn. <laughs> I like it. Damn. I've been waiting for you to call up to tell you some things, but... But I'm almost grown up. Almost. Sometimes I think it's me who should grow up. You're still young. You've got time for that. What's that? Fireflies. Never seen them before? They're everywhere. You want to be a grown-up, but you don't know about fireflies. Well, you didn't know how to fish. In that case, let's play a game I used to always beat your grandpa in. Whoever catches the most fireflies into a jar wins. Oh, God. All right, I'm going for this one because she's going over there. Come on, kid. We got to get him. We got one. Two. Three. Uh, over here, over here. Four. Five. You can get six. How many did nice. you get, Mom? I only caught a few. Oh. Ha, ha. I noticed I they added achievements to so the game, too. When I had to go through, the uh, go back and, and play. I just remembered a childhood mystery. As a girl, I wrote a letter and put it in a coffee can. And I hid it in a tree hollow over by those rocks. Really? Is it still there? No idea, but we could find out if you like. Sure, let's go. Find Louise's tree. <clears throat> This big one? No. What if I'm going the wrong way? Yeah, for the Life is Strange games, I played the uh, first one when it originally came out, but I never went back for like two or before the storm. 
or true colors or anything like that um but i do want to check them out they've always seemed like cool games just never got around to them what wait why are you thinking about that now no reason he hates everybody especially himself don't worry about him okay we're done with that place Mom, how will we find that tree? I carved the letter L on it. An adventure! Yay! That's a little bit dangerous. I'm surprised that... <laughs> okay, sure. Which is a walk across the... Um, the thing like that. Okay, so we have to use this to look up and around the tree. There's nothing here. I don't see anything either. Nothing on this tree. Nope. Nothing here either. I'm sure I marked that tree. It was a long time ago, Mom. And trees keep growing. Maybe it's this one? There it is. We found it. There's the letter L. This must be the tree. Look up there. I got it. I wonder what can we We stand it. tall. I don't even remember. Let's get back to the fire. Got dark pretty quick out here. All right, let's use the fire. Use the fire. Breakfast coca. Uh, am I supposed to do something with this? Oh. It's a letter inside. Dear Dad, I miss you so much and I'd like to be with you. Mom says that I'm a liar and that you left because of me. I didn't lie. Grandpa and Mom are very mad at me. I don't like them either. Please come and take me away. If I knew where you were, I would run away to be with you. I love you very much. P.S. I don't know where you are now, so I can't send you this letter. I'll put it in a secret place, and when I know your address, I will send it to you. Your little Lou. Did you try to find Grandpa? No. I was dreaming that he would come back for me one day. But he didn't come. When I was 17, I ran away on my own. By then, I was already angry with him for leaving me with them. Where's my dad? I don't know where he is now, but a while ago, we would have probably found him in some bar. He was a vet, like Alvin? <laughs> no, but he played the trumpet beautifully. Is that why you bought me a trumpet? You wanted me to be like him? Yes. I'm going to show you something now. When I was little, on starry nights, we would lie down with your grandpa by the fire and connect the stars into our own constellations. Want to try? Mm-hmm. In this game, you have to find a new constellation. I start. I see a bird. Where? Huh? Wait, what? Oh. Uh, okay. Uh. Huh? Yes. That's an it's M. A bird. I see it now. What? My turn. I'll start with that star. I don't see the bird. It's a heart. Nice. 
I see the heart. Now my turn. <laughs> it's lightning. You got it. I see that. Mom, your dad was cool. How was mine? He was cool too. What do we do now? Now we go to sleep. And tomorrow morning we'll pay my good friend a visit. That evening, by the fire, I began to understand what it means to be a grown-up. We were like two people who've been deprived of something in childhood. Right then, I understood that the void I felt was about missing my father. But how can you miss someone you don't know? Mm. Sanctuary. And a ton of achievements. <laughs> I saw when I was getting the achievements too, uh, before I launched the game up today, all the achievements are like 1%. Um, so 1.1% people have gotten it, which I'm not really sure how that works. But sure. Nineteen sixty one. You still here, Lou? Nineteen sixty-nine. Ah, so okay, I see. I've I see. never heard Mom talk about any friends, but this one was supposed to loan us gas money. Honey, I get it, but Black Daisy won't be able to dance with a broken leg. Are we doing a refund? No, we're planning a little surprise. Be on the phone. We open in two hours. Kiki around? Uh huh. Check in the back. Yeah, yeah. I'm still here. Your friend is a cleaner around here? Worse, he's the boss. Why is this lady naked? <laughs> Explain, forbid. Nobody would look at this poster if she were dressed. <laughs> Wait, but she's not naked. She's still wearing clothing. Girls, girls, girls. Knock, knock. Uh, okay. I know, I know, I get it. But you're also an actress. Now, a 15-minute gig is not a whole day. Oh, well, that's the going rate, sweetie. No, we can't accept the panties, but... I know, honey, but it's just a dance. Hello? Hello? Fuck! For that kind of money, I could get Liz Taylor tits. <laughs> Hi, Kiki. Jeez, what's next? You got some nerve to show your face around here after all these years. Charm, apolo- Yeah, we'll I'm apologize. Sorry, Kiki. I really am. In case you don't know, I almost went bust because of you. And you stole my best musician. I didn't steal anybody. Frank could have been somebody with me. He was already somebody without you. He was. So why did you come here anyway? I need help from my old friend. Get the fuck out, Lou. Friends don't disappear <laughs> for 10 years without a word. 
I have a feeling this isn't gonna go great. What? Fuck Yvonne. We can't refund the tickets because we're out of dough. How many bastards pulled out? How many? Then lie that we've got someone better. We are fucked. Short on rebel teen chicks dancing for room and board? Those days are over. I'd love to reminisce, Lou, but I've got other problems. Kiki, I can dance. Get lost, Lou. You're pissing me off. It's simple. You need a dancer, I need the dough. You've aged, Lou. <laughs> Fuck you, Kiki. I still got the technique. <laughs> People want to see tits, not technique. I still have two left. Are you in or out? Jesus, the, the kid's right there. What the is that? <laughs> Tips for you. Bargain. We can try bargaining. Uh. Plus 10% from the bar. Five. Seven and a half. Stubborn cunt. Deal. Whoa. Just don't make me fucking regret this. We've got a girl, Yvonne. I don't know, but we won't get another. Put this on the bill. The big comeback of little Lou. Find some clothes in the dressing room. Hey, kid, you look just like your old man. You know that? Your friend is strange. He's a good man. He did help me once, but I let him down. Nineteen sixty one, okay, so we're going back in time. Did she used to dance? What's up, Lou? You're on. I can't, Frank. Is it about that guy talking to Kiki? The one with the smoke? Tell the truth. Yes. Is he following you? Does he bother you? No. So who is he? Frank, let's get out of here now. What about the show? Kiki put up a lot of dough. He'll kill us. I won't drop everything just because you saw a ghost. Who is that? My father. Oh, wait, what? Why would she run then? She's been lo wanting to see him for years. Oh, unless if, uh, wait, how just, Can you give me I don't a know, hand? so many questions. With what? What to put on? Uh, choose an outfit, gloves, corset, feathers. Uh, let's go red corset. Maybe a different corset. Oh. Mom, do I really look like dad? Answer evasively, confirm. Kiki has a good eye for these things. What happened to him? I don't know. We split up before you were born. Am I done? Uh, no, it's done. What do you think? Jesus. Is this a Halloween costume? <laughs> Watch out, kiddo, or we'll dress you up next. You stressing me out is not helping. Uh, gloves. Let's go, uh, white gloves. I'll change my gloves. Why did you split up? Why can't we talk about this? Because I'm going on stage now. First time in 10 years and I'm clueless. Am I done? Change something, feathers. Uh, let's do red, uh, white feathers. Maybe different colored feathers. Why didn't you ever talk about dad? You never asked. I did ask, but you always cried afterwards. And I don't like it when you cry. Am I done? What do you think? What? You look like the naked ladies from the posters. Are you sure? Let's call Kiki. But mom, you look like the naked ladies. Okay, 
As good as it gets. Yes? I'm ready, Kiki. I'm coming. Can I go with you? No, it's not for you. Are you gonna take your clothes off? Uh... Tell the truth, lie. Yes. I don't want you to get undressed. It's no big deal. I'll get it over with and then we'll have a cool vacation. Well, well, well. Let me see you. I want to see little Lou. Mm-hmm. What do you think, kiddo? Is your mother sexy? Don't That's weird. That, <laughs> well, I think little Lou is still hot. Looks like we're going to have a show after all. Wait for me here, Mitch. <laughs> I'll be back soon. Yeah, you better stay in here, Mitch. Wait, at least close. Okay, I was gonna say close the door. I didn't intend to wait in the dressing room, <laughs> but I really wanted Mom just to dance without undressing. Wait, Sonny. Your mom told you to stay in the dressing room. Trick him. Give up. Okay, big man, I'm going. I hope so. And don't fool around. I'm here all the time. I had to find a key to this door to bypass Kiki's bouncer. Find the key. I'm I'm gonna guess it's probably in Kiki's room then. It's like a wild guess. An absolutely unheard of, not expected in the draw on the table. <laughs> okay, yeah, we got it. All right, let's go back over to, or actually we don't need to talk to Ivan. We can just go to the door. Down the steps. Ladies and gentlemen, Madame and Monsieur presenting Little Lou. Dance. Wait, what are the other options? Yeah, I guess dance. Where is the music? There's no music. <laughs> can't click on anything else oh take it off oh no he's right there he's right there no I'm not going to Check it out. Check that out. Oh, look at that. I love you, little Lou. I love you. Still got it. It still did a good job. Wait, what happened? Uh oh. 
Uh oh. Lou, are you alive? Oh, it's okay. I didn't want to, Kiki. Stop it. We've got about 50 bucks in tips. But Kiki will kick in a small gift. It's for Mitch. I won't forget this. You saved my ass today, after all. In two weeks, this joint is going under the hammer anyways. You guys can stay here till then. I don't have that much time, sadly. Something wrong with you? <sighs> Nothing serious. I'm thinking just the opposite, sweetheart. Think what you want. That day when I ran off with Frank. Sure you want to bring this up now? You were talking by the bar with my father. I had a feeling. He came back a few more times, but I got rid of him. Just another daddy who suddenly remembered his little girl. I'd like him to take care of Mitch. What about Frank? Does he know about the kid? No. It's your choice, girl. No. Thanks, Kiki, for everything. We'll be gone by morning. Yeah, I know. At least this time you're not skipping town without a word. Good night, Lou. I don't know what it is, but some of the audio, like, gets very, um, the S's, every time they pronounce S, it's so loud and, uh, it kind of hurts. Softly. They thought I was asleep. Same thing when, when it, whenever uh, Louise talks sometimes, you can hear like a little bit of, of buzzing in the background. So I wonder if she was like using like a, the voice actor, if they're using sure like Mom a, just wanted to make up for that strange rest stop at their own mic before. during COVID or something. Or she just wanted me to stop asking about dad for a while. Whatever it was, she succeeded. I've noticed it a few times though. Oh God. Yeah, like right there, 60. Uh, let me try turning this down. Let's turn everything down a little bit, honestly. I keep turning down the master, but it stays up there with that. There's a skipped QTE sequences. I didn't turn that on, but. Okay, now it's really loud. Uh, hmm. Just afraid the dialogue's gonna be too loud. Wait, is the kid driving right now? Oh, man. What is happening? Let me turn this back up. drive like a pro you can speed up a little just watch out for the other cars okay mom driving's fun all right we can unpause here okay so this time we're speeding it up Probably go for a little bit longer here. Um, I don't know if you could tell, but I, I actually had to pause the recording for a little bit here. Okay, take it easy now. Speed oh, up and pass this car. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea because the car's not going that fast. Beautiful. Mom, I kind of cut them off. To now? <laughs> uh, tell the truth. I want to find my father. Oh God. Jesus. Oh. Okay, take it easy now. Speed up and pass this car. Uh, is this the same car that we passed the first time, or is it just another? Beautiful. Mom, where are we driving to now? 
Tell the truth. I want to find my father. Okay, now try to pass that. Train. Oh. There's like a, a micro stutter between some dialogue actions at times. You did great. Oh my God. Like I couldn't even, I wasn't controlling that right there. You want to skip this stage? Yes. Yes. It like pulled me to the right and I didn't even do anything, but okay. Damn. Made it to a gas Hi. station. Can't find my wallet. Maybe it's in the trunk. This is the worst possible time to lose your wallet, especially when you're on the run. Or like traveling like this. Did you find it? Nope. Bite your tongue, curse. Motherfucker. No, I can't <laughs> find it. So, how can we get some gas Mother now? That's what you get for putting out for n****s. Oh my god. It always brings trouble. Wait in the car, Mitch. But mom... You got a problem, man? You talking to me, slut? Whoa, this guy just hates the world. That ain't a way to live, man. Oh shit. I told you there's gonna be trouble. <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god. Back, Mitch. Whoa, 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 what's going on? You better drop that gun. Or Joe's gonna hurt you real bad. Joe, put the gun on the ground. And do it nice and easy. Don't listen to that whore, Joe. You're really gonna earn your blown out balls. She looks desperate. Better do as she tells you. I think you've only got one choice, Joe. Convince him, shoot the can. Put the gun down, Joe. And nobody gets hurt. What's it gonna be, Joe? Okay, okay. Take it easy. Everybody, hands up and on your knees. Well, this is great. We're holding people up in front of our kid. You could have shown some balls, Joe. Or you're just a cunt. You're asking for it. Mom, no! Good choice. Rob them, run away. No, we'll run Nobody away. Nobody gets up until I'm gone. Oh, no. His confidence is decreasing. It's at 50%. Right then, well, damn. I learned a yin and yang principle from my mother. Sometimes you need to be tough, and sometimes you need to chill the fuck out. I didn't understand it then, but I would have done the same thing today. My mother did all of that for me out of desperation. On the road again. All right, I think this is where I'm gonna uh, pause it for now for this playthrough. So if you guys did enjoy this, definitely leave a like. Let me know if you want a part three, uh, then I will jump back on here, record part three, and hopefully, um, as long as my save doesn't break or anything, I uh, will get part three out as well. Um, so yeah, if you also want to check out my other playthroughs, feel free. Um, I have a Trek to Yomi one coming out soon. I've done a few uh, first-person shooter games that I've been playing uh, and a few other, you know, uh, smaller indie games here and there. And then, of course, I'm doing my live streams of uh, Assassin's Creed at the moment. Right now, at the time of recording this, I'm working on Assassin's Creed 3. 
but we're probably almost done with that and we'll probably go into four very soon. So hopefully I'll see you guys there. And for now, have a good one. I'll see you next time. Peace.